today's video, we're going to be talking about a time that I went full Avery and I was obsessed with somebody and thought in my head that they were in love with me. I'm going to give you the uh, guilty pleasure of mine when I was a young man uh, and kind of compare it because if you've been watching the last live streams, you've been you've been knowing that I've been dealing with a couple of one specific psycho. We'll, ref we'll refrain from saying her name, but uh, it's gotten to the point where it's carried over to real life and we have to deal with things. But uh, I, I just, every time I have an internet beef or there's some type of like, weird shit like this, I just try to like take a step back and do some self reflection. It's my behavior. Have I done this? So I have to come clean with my subscribers and we'll be getting into that. But first, I'd like to take care of one tiny response. If you remember the last live, I had a lady in the comments, her name was Rose, and I asked her to hit the link. Okay? And uh, she came on and she <laughs> jibber jaw, jibber jaw, jibber jaw. Okay? And I, uh, I, kind of, I kind of tossed her. Well, in sequence to that, the lady has um, just gone full lance. Very comical. Extremely comical. There was a point where uh, she was very... Uh, very aggravated that I said, um, look, I don't know who, which one is trying to suck Dolly off first or who's in line first. And uh, you, guys, like, you guys know what I do. I, I'm just like, you know, suck them off. <laughs> so she, in one of her rants, she proceeded to do this. I, I would at least say for the viewing pleasure, for the, co the comedic view of that, well worth a watch. I was going to screen grab it. Please forgive me. But if you're having a bad day and you want a belly laugh, take a peek. And I never promote these channels. I don't have a problem with this lady, but she's a little weird. So I'm not going to kind of roast her here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, you know, talk to her a little bit. Look, what I was trying to tell you, lady, is um, if you let me get a word in, okay? What I was trying to tell you is YouTube kind of views you just like this, okay? Oh, look. Dolly Visions live. I just got the notification. I'll do my little dancey pants. Okay, real fast. Uh, this lady, uh, not only did she, she pull one of these, she said she says that um, I tried to persuade her to like uh, to like Benny Keith. Uh, like those words have ever came out of my mouth on YouTube. I will never persuade anybody to do that. But let her tell it. The one who dances when the notifications are live. Uh, but, and then she proceeds in some one, one of the 15 rants, she, she, she does one of these. I'm telling you people, take a peek at it now. But uh, one thing she said that was very weird, what, uh, mind you, that time she hit Chun on the panel was the second time in life. I've spoken to her, but I, I hit her panel to try to help her when she first came out. And I was trying to help her when she hit the link in the live. But you got to be quiet sometimes. Just be quiet sometimes. Dance, dance silently. Uh, but she did answer the question. And, and anyhow, she says that I'm a fool because really what had happened was she's an asset to me. So I don't understand that. But then in the rant with the, and then the asset, she says that uh, secretly people are paying me to go after them. Now, I've been accused in 2023 that Tim Mullins was paying me, and now people are paying me to go uh, uh, after them. Well, goddamn, uh, if they are, I guess I'm doing free services because I ain't seen a dime. Maybe I don't even get donations like that. But, you know, being that you mentioned that, uh, like, if, if people are paying me and you're an asset, look, I don't really know how to think about it. Here's the thing. An asset, in my view, is like a home, something with value. Can I make a, you know, a profit off it? Can I invest in it? Can I sell it? So it's weird that you would say that word. Like, what does that mean? Can I, can I, re, can I refund it now that we're beefing? Can I sell it now that we're beefing? What is the asset of the asset? Is it the first three letters? What, what am I selling? I don't know. Is it dance lessons? Are you now a life coach? Like what? How can I make profit off this? Help me out with that one. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it the motion thing? 
if that works for sale, I don't see, I don't know. You leave this thing wide open, people. Um, I, I don't know, but I'll just, I'll do it like this. I'll do it like this. Uh, I'm going to do a, a garage sale free sign. Free. Okay. I want my name off the title. Okay. I want my name off the title because that thing is next to a uh, nuclear power plant and it's toxic over there. And uh, I just, I, you know, it's, it, I just, I want out of this a business relationship. Okay, now moving along back to the original title and what I was saying in the beginning. Um, just had to say that. Definitely would have been. But now back to when I went full A3. Okay. Look, man, there was a time in my life um, where, look, um, I had a big crush on Pamela Anderson. Huge crush. Um, and before Pamela was Cindy Crawford. But Pamela, oh, like I had a big crush on this woman to the point where like, even though there's a tape out there with Tommy Lee on a boat, like I didn't care about that. Like in my head, like one day, me and Pamela, you know what I'm saying? Me and Pamela. And then I was reading about it, you know, always had a big crush on her. And then what happened was uh, somewhere like after Kid Rockish, uh, which I didn't mind, because in my head, like we were sweating each other, right? But then she got hepatitis C, right? I was proud of her when the PETA stuff happened, when she was the advocate. I was like, that's my girl, right? That's my, that's my, that is, that is, mm -mm -mm. can't wait to bring her home to mom, if you will. But when the hepatitis C happened, like, do I, how do I tell mom that my wife has hepatitis C? Do I have hepatitis C? Should I get tested? Even though this is all in my head, should, should I get tested? Like, you know, I was thinking about it, okay? You know, and uh, things just, it was like that, people. Look, I had a, there's many, you know, many times, I remember one time, dozed off and fell asleep, right? And uh, woke up and had, had an exciting dream, okay? My boxers were all crusty. And I just remember saying, Pamela, was it as good for you as it was me? And in my head, she was like, you nailed that shit. You nailed that shit. Better than Tommy Lee and all that. And I was very excited and happy about it. And this is all in my head, right? You know, so that's like, that was a time where I went full Avery. Now, this, you know, because we know that people are obsessed with private investigators. Say that they're going to be flying in, that they're married to them. Um, that all types of stuff wanted to start podcasts with him. You know, it's, uh, you guys remember that, you know, she, uh, she, uh, came in, uh, before I tossed her off, she came and admitted that. But, um, the obsession is unreal. You know, it, it, it really is comical too, because as I'm making this video, I have a couple of privacy complaints and, and wait for it. On that one person that lies and thinks that they're uh, married to somebody they're not, that, that, that psycho person. In the privacy, when you do a privacy report, it does tell me like what part of the video you're privacy reporting. I get a chance to fix it. So if there's a two hour video, there's only a timestamp of what you're being a Karen about. And, and I'm nosy. I'm going right to it. And what do you know? He doesn't like when you prove that this lady is not married to Josh. It's quite comical, really. Now, in the second privacy report, uh, there was embarrassment on the bad check and also find it funny. The nerve and audacity, the complete and utter contradiction of when you got your heebie-jeebie creepy laughs off by posting my criminal record. And then when one does it to you, but look, man, I can talk about Pamela and this nutcase. But look, people, I'm going to be putting a link in the description and in the pinned comment. We all remember Borat. Remember Borat? He was also in love with Pamela. Do you guys remember he was so obsessed with this person in his head that in the movie, 
So when he went to go meet Pamela, he went to go get an autograph from her. And he kept moving closer and closer to her. And then he went to say he wanted her to sign this bag of his. And he throws it over her head, puts her over her shoulder, runs out, security comes, they tackle him. You remember that? This is what this is what the type of people that we're dealing with on YouTube. Seriously, people. I can definitely see one doing it for Mr. Josh and 100% doing it for old Dolly. Now, look, Dolly, look, I got to give credit when credit's due. I don't know what type of game he's run, running on some old ladies over there, but boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Is he pimping like no other? I mean, I'm talking about it's out of control, really. But, you know, Borat is a good example. We're going to take a little peek at Borat, and then I'll leave this two-minute segment in the description in the pinned comment. If you haven't seen Borat, very funny movie. But if you haven't seen it before you watch it, click the link, and I want you to pretend that this is two examples here. One, Borat is the netball, and Pamela is Josh, or we have Rose and Dolly. It's your choice. So let's get into it. I'll play a little bit of it, and uh, I will link it for you. Um, that's my full Avery story, y'all. And uh, look, man, it is getting out of control. YouTube is it, this is the this is the weird part of YouTube. I have to like deal with this with some type of uh, sarcasm, people. This is the part of YouTube where you get to see the real weird character in people. They're vindictive and spiteful ways. Their feelers are on Front Street, and that is kind of fun. But um, it is it is comical to me, but yet at the same time, frightening and a little bit scary. And on that final note, there is a Netflix series called Stalkers. And I forget the data, but in stalking cases, it, the conviction rate is very, very low. And if you take if you take a peek at this series on Netflix, you will see that not only is the conviction rate low, but they are they're interviewing people from prison and jail and uh, victims and, and and all types of stuff. It's well worth a watch. Let's get in the Borat. Use your imagination, and we'll catch up on the next one. Agreeing with my best story. Bring your knees up. Bring your knees up. Oh, one more thing to the nutcase. You watched it. 